Oh Lord, pull up in that O4 pedal to the metal, says she wanna hit the flow more. Okay, okay. Where has everybody been? I, I mean, did you hear about Tupac? And, and and it's such a shame about JFK. Also, I understand that Lincoln, yeah, I mean Lincoln also got shot in the head. Did you hear about Lincoln Lincoln? Now, now granted, Desmond Ritter, nothing that bad. But you know what? It's also old news when you hear people say, I don't know whether Desmond Ritter is an NFL quarterback. Hey, okay. I'm not talking about that. First, subscribe to Atlanta Sports Unlimited for the greatest coverage of Atlanta sports teams right here on his YouTube channel. And we're sponsored by Prize Picks. Tremendous fantasy game. Two to five players go over or under. Put in a promotion code right here, ASU, as in Atlanta Sports Unlimited, to win big time. Also, I'm the author of The Real Hank Aaron. Right here, get an autographed copy at therealhankaron.com. And also, I just wrote this book, just released this week, Red Brick Magic, Sean McVay, John Harbaugh, Miami University's Cradle of Coaches. I went to Miami University. And I will be on Paul Feinbaum's show, ESPN TV, ESPN Radio, at 4.30 on Wednesday, talking about that great book. Not so great, Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter, third-round draft pick of the Falcons last year. This is his first year as a, as a starter. He won the first two games, but actually the Falcons, they're, they're playing teams that lost the first two games, all right? And then the last two games the, they, they played, they played four together. The last two games they played, they've lost because they really lost. All four games, Desmond Ritter, brutal, particularly this last game. They're playing in London against a shaky Jacksonville team that nevertheless hammered the Falcons. And here's all you need to know about Desmond Ritter in that game. Desmond Ritter, two consecutive throws, interceptions, one for a pick six, and that was about the highlight of the day for him. Now you got all these people saying and tweeting and, and writing, oh, oh my gosh, this, is, this guy, he may not be able to be an NFL quarterback. We can't tell what he's ever... He, he, he. Sure about the Titanic? Let's go backwards here. Last year, fifth round draft pick, third round draft pick. All right. Before last season, the Falcons picked up Marcus Mariota to be their starting quarterback and just give Desmond Ritter some time, I guess. Okay. Marcus Mariota, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's, he's in the top eight worst starting quarterbacks in the National Football League this century. During his five years as a starter before coming to Atlanta, he never finished a season. What does that tell you? Okay, so I said last year on this YouTube channel, I said that Desmond Ritter has got to be in the starting lineup by Halloween of last year. Uh, maybe by Columbus Day or Indigenous People Day, whichever you prefer. And definitely by Thanksgiving. Instead, the Falcons did not play Desmond Ritter last year as a rookie one second until just before Christmas. How did that work out? But it gets worse. You get to this year, just three preseason games. You can't fool around. I mean, even Kansas City with Patrick Mahomes has been to a few Super Bowls. He's won a couple of them. He played in every single preseason game. But, you know, the Falcons, they're smarter than everybody else. This management, this coaching staff. So then he looks like this, and everybody's like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. And it's not just Desmond Ritter. The offensive line is, as some guy on television has wanted to say, terrible. I mean, it's been that way for the five years prior to this year. All losing seasons for the Falcons. Yet management signed these guys to these long contracts. I mean, this is the same management that blew three drafts in a row. I mean, three drafts ago, they picked a tight end over the franchise quarterback. I've talked about that. Uh, two drafts ago, they, they, they picked the wrong wide receiver. I talked about that. Last year, they picked up a running back when they had all these stud defensive guys from the University of Georgia who go to the Philadelphia Eagles and helps to turn them into the Philadelphia Bulldogs. I, I talked about that, okay? So, and, and then, then they've got Arthur Smith, the head coach, who who's, who's, has this tribute to Bronco Nagurski and Red Grange, okay? Uh, hand the ball here and there. And then when he's not handing it off the ball, he will throw every once in a while, not to a wide receiver, okay? Not to a tight end, but to a running back. I mean, it's everything's about this running back. Occasionally a wide receiver. 
Casey tight end, Kyle Pitts, what happened to Kyle Pitts? Is he still alive, by the way? Anyway, anyway. Uh, so as a result, it comes down to this. I and mean, everybody's talking about, oh, I, we don't know whether Desmond Ritter can play. Well, maybe it's management. Maybe it's the coaching staff. Maybe it's Desmond Ritter. But you know what? It's all of the above. This is my falsetto wicked potion with the slow pour. This is my addiction, make me want to go for more. Hell, 